Assalamualaikum, my brother, my sister. Welcome to Islam. Islam is a knowledge-based religion. The more you know, the more you make an effort to learn, the more you will love it, the more you will appreciate it. The less you know, the less interested you are to learn, the more you will dwindle. I've said this repeatedly, and trust me, it's a fact. So my brothers, my sisters, now that you've entered the fold of Islam, don't become overwhelmed by the statements of everyone. You have to do this. You must do this. You've got to cover today. You've got to do this today. You've got to pray five times a day. You've got... Yes, they, they may be right. But do you know what? Sometimes too many people telling you too many things right at the beginning is only a sign of their love and concern. They don't realize they may overwhelm you. Take it in your stride. A step at a time. Move at your pace. Don't worry. Move at your pace. You've learned the pillars of Islam. You know the pillars of Iman. You know the basics. I'm sure you've learned cleanliness and how to pray. You may not know all the surahs and all of that uh, in the Arabic language yet. No problem. You can slowly put into practice as you learn, but make an effort to learn. And then, like I said in the previous video, if something is not sitting well with you, perhaps it might be wrong, or maybe there might be another opinion, or perhaps it might not be authentic, or maybe there might be an explanation about it, and maybe you might be wrong. So ask and keep asking. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالزُّبُرِ If you're not sure, ask those who have knowledge. Uh, those who have knowledge of revelation and they will guide you correctly inshallah so my brothers and sisters welcome to islam like i said it's submission unto allah it's a beautiful faith of discipline worshiping allah alone being the best human being you can with the greatest of character and we do so in accordance with the teachings of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him don't let people make you believe that you need to start hating everyone, you need to start hurting people, you need to be abusive towards others. Absolutely not. That is the furthest from the truth. So, yes, we dislike that which is wrong, but people on the globe will be following all sorts of things. People will believe you are wrong and you will believe that others are wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. You do believe they are wrong, but respectfully you should try to maintain a decent communication so that you can teach them perhaps let them see the beauty of islam i'm sure if your family was very supportive of your decision to turn to islam you're lucky but very few are lucky because it's a major decision i don't expect everyone to be excited about it especially nowadays when islam is looked at by masses as this faith that is going to be filled with violence and hate. And that's not true. You and I know it's not true. So you need to make sure you portray the correct image of Islam by fulfilling the rights of those who supported you as well as those who didn't support you from among your family members, your neighbors, your friends. Some will leave you. They'll abandon you. Don't worry, they abandoned the Prophet, peace be upon him. They've abandoned everyone who turned in the right direction. In fact, I can give you a piece of information. Do you know that a lot of Muslims who are not practicing abandoned their friends who grew up with them for years on end when they start practicing? So that's just a sign of, uh, you know, that which is unfortunate. <laughs> it's Allah who chooses what or where people stand. So take it in your stride. Be good to people. Try your best. If, if you need to step back, you may at a point where it's becoming toxic. But remember, fulfill the rights of your parents even more in an even greater way. Serve them. Reach out to them. Be kind to them. Find out about them. They will quickly realize you are a much better person than you were. And this is what happens in the case of a lot of people. Over time, the parents and family members begin to appreciate and realize. And then talk to them, explain to them, listen, I love you guys, a different love, meaning we're family. So to love as a family is different love. The love of your mother is different from that of your spouse and that of your brother and that of others. The love of a fellow Muslim is different. The love of uh, Allah is very different. The love of the messenger is very different as well. So all these levels of love we speak about, you need to know them. So when someone says you can't love your 
mother or father if they are not muslim that's not true that that love filial love or the love of children or parents is something put in your heart by allah even the prophet muhammad peace be upon him loved his family members who were not muslim who were close to him and helped him and served him his grandfather his uncle and so on uh, these people were very close to the prophet muhammad peace be upon him but they were not muslim so what do we expect i mean he didn't hate them it was only those who drove him away uh, or drove the muslims out of their houses and those who were nasty and so on that a natural dislike happens to uh, come in the, or, or to be felt towards them it's a natural dislike may allah almighty grant us goodness so point number 1 of this video is not to become overwhelmed by everybody understand it's their love but take it in your stride you have your own steps move in your own direction and then don't fall into the squabbles of others there'll be a lot of people don't listen to this one that one's a stray this one's a stray no 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 you, you allah guided you to know islam from kufr you know belief from disbelief for example he will surely guide you towards what is right and the balanced faith of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's evidence based that's what we believe someone wants to do something well why are you doing this and then listen to the explanation allah's given you a brain to process that he's not going to ask you beyond your understanding and capacity la yukallifu allah nafsan illa wus'aha that verse has deep meaning allah will not burden a soul with more than they can shoulder and what that would also mean is if allah has given you a certain capacity he's not going to hold against you beyond that capacity even that of understanding if this was your understanding and you really felt that this is it uh, do you expect allah to punish you when you really tried very very hard to do the right thing so it's good to listen to people one of the mistakes that some people make nowadays is they say don't listen to this one don't listen to that one and other people say don't listen to this one so the reverse get confused so who do we listen to because everyone's telling us not to listen to everyone try to select people who don't talk about others but rather they teach you what's right and wrong and if they do talk about others excuse them don't don't listen on that matter but everything else okay i can take because they are human they make mistakes this is a mistake you find a lot of people think they know a lot and the same people 10 years later will hold different opinions that are more uh, flexible more relaxed based on environment based on so many factors because islam yes there are certain things that don't change and won't change but there are certain things that are connected to your environment they're connected to their urf and the ada certain things meaning the, the the norms of society and community and so on there are certain things connected to that you need to learn what are these things you are still new in islam so don't get so excited and sometimes because we want guidance for everyone we start belittling others we start swearing and shouting and we start becoming uh, very arrogant but you just revert you've barely been a muslim for a few days or months or a year and you know you're getting so vulgar you're getting so abusive you should be showing the beauty of islam and i'm not saying compromise your faith no don't but be kind and learn and keep learning a day will come when you realize all the harshness that was coming in my direction was actually not what i ultimately follow now subhanallah remember that because in the excitement of a human being we tend to say things and do things when we get wisdom and experience and we learn things we soften in our approach to begin with and then sometimes we even soften in a few other matters and we realize that you know what sometimes some rulings have been contaminated by factors that perhaps need to be discussed yes and sometimes there there is more than one opinion that's actually correct it's evidence based if i say this is the most correct opinion does it mean that the others are not correct hey they may be correct but maybe it's most correct according to me or more correct doesn't make the others wrong always remember this and even if people refute and start arguing and fighting sometimes they are just fighting over what's the better of the two opinions so all these things confuse revert sometimes that's why i'm here to say take it a step at a time follow what you are convinced by and let it be evidence based inshallah may allah almighty guide us all and give us goodness i hope that this 10 minute video has actually helped because really it's advice for reverts and it's genuine advice i wish and i pray at some point we can have a part 2 for this may allah bless every one of us aqulu qawli hadha was salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh
Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.